This is as close as we can get to power. A power plant! Well, at least it was up until 2015. This electroheat power station, also known as Elektro Ciepłownia 2, was one of the most modern and the largest power plant in Poland and played a major role in the industrial development of Łódź. But even giants like that fall. We have all experienced power outages or overloads at home or in the office, and it might be not a problem for a laptop that is powered by a battery. But what if it's a sensitive equipment, a medical one, or your security camera? For sure you want them up and running until the power is restored from the grid. Well, there is a simple solution for this. An uninterruptible power supply by Qualtech. A UPS is like your firewall. It protects your devices from uh, various overs like over voltage, overheating, overloads and game overs. Yes, in fact, the core function of the UPS is to provide you with enough time to finish the game, save your work or allow seamless transition to secondary power. To address those issues, Qualtech offers a wide range of UPSs that you can view on our website tme.eu. But in this video, I would like to focus on the online pure sine wave UPSs ranging from 1kVA up to 10kVA and give you a sneak peek to Qualtech's newest online UPS with Unity Power Factor. In total, there are five UPSs in the series. The lower kVA models like the 1kVA or the 2kVA are ideal for protecting personal computers, workstations and networking equipment. But if you have a powerful gaming ring with discrete graphic cards, check the higher capacity models like the 6kVA or the 10kVA. They are better suited for servers, workstations and critical business applications that require sustainable power during outages. Now, here, is the most important graph in the whole video. Now, nah, come on. <laughs> no, no, show it, show it, show it, okay. Now, this graph will guide you to choose the proper UPS size regardless of what electric devices you connect. On the Y-axis, you have the load in watts, ranging from 100 watt up to 1000. On the X-axis, we have the backup time in minutes. And the five colorful plots tell you for how long a specific UPS will be able to provide you with the power. For example, the 2400 watt UPS, the one in blue, gives your electrical devices an additional hour of work under a load of 300 watts. Just remember to leave at least 20% power buffer. If you're not sure on how to calculate the power consumption of your devices, the easiest way is to get a power meter, connect to it a power strip, connect all of your devices to the power strip and let them run for a couple of hours and see the average power consumption on the power meter. You can also summarize the total power consumption of all of the devices by checking the labels, but it's not going to be as accurate as measuring it. By the way, have you noticed the zigzag arrangement on this power strip? Pretty cool, I haven't seen something like that before. And it is available on our website, tme.eu. But not only! At tme.eu you can find hundreds of thousands of products from trusted brands with high stock levels and 96% of the orders are shipped on the same day. So what are you waiting for? In addition to providing backup power during outages, those UPSs offer surge protection. This is crucial because even brief spikes or dips in the voltage can damage sensitive electronics. Imagine you are running a laboratory experiment. Those spikes can affect your measurements. Say goodbye to scientific journal and hello YouTube! <laughs> By filtering out those fluctuations with an online UPS from Coltec, you can be sure your little discovery is going to see the light. One of the main features that allows you to filter all the unwanted things from the grid is the constant double conversion. Unlike offline UPSs that provide you only battery power during outages, online UPSs constantly condition the incoming power. They convert AC to DC and then back to AC before delivering it to your devices all the time. This provides superior protection by filtering out minor fluctuations and ensuring an instantaneous switch to the battery in case of complete outage. But this also makes them less efficient and a bit more costly because the electric components inside are constantly under stress. And to handle it, they are of a higher class than the one that you'll find in the offline UPSs. They also must deliver a pure sine wave, which can be pretty complicated to achieve. You see, a pure sine wave is an ideal waveform for AC. Some less expensive UPSs might generate a modified sine wave, which can be less efficient and even harm certain equipment. I'm thinking no. 
<laughs> Thanks. Qualtex Pure Sine Wave designation, on the other hand, indicates that these UPS models produce an output that matches the perfect sine wave of standard grid electricity, guaranteeing compatibility with a wider range of devices. But there is a solution to the efficiency issue. Qualtex new series of Unity Power UPSs. They are more efficient, they support higher loads, they are more cost and space effective, they handle lower power factor loads much more effectively and experience less internal stress. This means that you get more time to make decisions during uncomfortable situations. How much more? Well, you can see it here, in the other most important graph in the whole video that you should save for later. Similar to the first one, we have the load in watts on the y-axis and the backup time in minutes on the x-axis. The difference is that you have more of it. With the Unity Power Factor UPS, you can plug higher loads that will last for longer. Recall the last moment that you told yourself, oh, I wish I had a little bit more time. Well, with Qualtech UPS, you have it.